Thank you for watching Phone System Hero. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and rate if you'd like. Today we will be learning how to build a very basic database using FileMaker Pro 2011. And this tutorial should work on most versions of FileMaker Pro, such as the earlier versions like FileMaker 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and possibly the, the newest version of FileMaker, or most likely the newest version of FileMaker, FileMaker Pro 12. Right now we're going to use, like we said, FileMaker Pro 2011 for your Mac, but this is, since FileMaker um, is works with both Mac and Windows, this tutor the, the tutorial will be the same for both because the layout in both Mac and Windows versions are this almost identical, so um, you won't have any issues distinguishing uh, between the two. Um, let's create a new database and it's going to ask us where you want to save it to or you can click this little drop down arrow for more info you can save it into one of these folders on the side let's save it into our documents and let's te uh, label it as test database and let's wait for it to open up here we go let me just move this to the side alright so the first thing we want to it's asking us to do is create some fields and right now we're on layout name test database and if you don't know what layout is layout is um, this this specific form in FileMaker you can have different forms you can have a form for the customer information you you can have another form for your invoices in the database you can have another form for um, a, a, a mailing list anything you like it's all customizable right now along this top bar we're gonna add different fields for this database let's pretend we are making a customer database so we're gonna have to make fields for the person's name the person's phone number their address and uh, so on and so forth and I was I am not FileMaker certified but I am very very fluent in this um, application and I, I learned that when you're making fields, you're not supposed to have spaces between the names. Let's say you have a field that says first name, like this. You're not really supposed to have the space in between, so what you can do, what I do is, I just make um, the beginning um, letter of each word capitalized, so you can you know what's a separate word, like first name right here, instead of a lowercase n, because that's a little harder to understand. So it kind of gives you the idea that it's another word or I see people have an underscore right there first name whatever you'd like um, it kinda gets confusing in the future when you when you're making your database um, more customizable like having calculations you don't want to put like a dollar sign or something like that in your like this you're not gonna want to put anything like that in your field name you're not gonna want to do an exclamation point you know the at symbol that's just going to confuse FileMaker and you could run into problems potentially when you are uh, advancing, so to speak, your database. All right, we're going to have another field called last name. I'm just going to make a basic, I'm not going to go crazy here, last name and then keep hitting the plus sign and then it's going to add another field for you. Um, company name and telephone tell number all right right now we have our first uh, layout here for the customer information and this plus right here by the way is to create the, the, the one that's horizontal um, is to create another field and this plus going vertical like that is uh, to create a to create data in the database to create a um, uh, a record um, so we're gonna create this is just a basic first it's gonna look like s somewhat like a Microsoft Excel uh, spreadsheet but then I'm gonna show you how to make it look more application like or like a like more like a database um, okay let's just put just generic names here John 
Doe, John. Like I said, um, you when you were you can't put the space in between the the um the the uh, form name. I'm sorry, the field name, but you can put spaces in your records. So I can't have spaces right here. John Doe's company. I can also have other symbols that you couldn't have before. Oops. Company. Tell number, just a random. Five five five. Five five five. Five 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 five. All right here. Now let's just put two records, just so I can show you how they work and how you can search for people and and different data. Um. Jane. I I you can also press tab and it'll go it'll create it'll go down the line like that. Jane Smith. Jane's Jewels. I have no clue why I did that, but it's just a random company name. Six six six. Ooh, that's not good. Four four four. Four four four. Four four four. four. And like I said, we're gonna make it look more like an application or database. You can by changing the view with the option is right here. We can have it look like somewhat like this, and it's gonna have basically all your records in one page going down like I could have more records here if I were to add more all the way down or you can have it one by, like a one by one view um, so basically I have some uh, forms here and this is basically a, a basic database just for customer information now if we would like to search for someone or something in the database all we have to do is hit the the magnifying glass that says find and basically we can search uh, any field um, and FileMaker will pull up the um, the closest uh, relating um, record to what you search. So let's say we searched um, someone with their last name Doe because we have someone on the phone they says they want to look up what their order to see when it when it's going to be shipped out just you know a random scenario. Type in Doe you say what's what's your last name you type it in hit enter and basically right here it pulls up John Doe's um, profile um, and let's say let me just create John Doe uh, John farm and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to show you what happens if you have if you're searching for something in the database and there's more than one um, record that has what you're searching for example let's say I search for anyone that has the name John your filemaker up here is gonna tell you it looks like a little Rolodex right here if you uh, know what it is it's like a um, a a scrolling like a flip book with people's contacts in it um, it's when this lights up it's gonna tell you um, see it's grayed out over here but it's lit up it's gonna tell you that there's more than one um, record applying to what you just searched we have John Doe from John Doe's company and we can scroll through to see oh that's not it maybe it's on the next record click that little button here and it has oh here it is John Doe with John Doe's farm so you just learned right now how to create a basic database for contact management or other purposes that you can uh, you can use it's completely customizable um, and again we also learned about um, searching at if there's um, more than one record or more than one um, answer for that record you search for but FileMaker can be more very 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 more complex than this you can actually have an invoicing database can create invoices like a, a miniature cash register right here it can um, it can have, like I said, the customer database. You can basically have it do, to do whatever, almost whatever you want uh, that a database can do, like an application and more. So it's a very, 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 very useful application here. And I believe it's made by Apple, which it happens to be basically my one of my most favorite companies in the world. I have no clue why. Well, yes, I do. <laughs> They make awesome products, they make good iPhones, they make, make good Macs, they're just really good products in my opinion. So um, it's made by Apple, one of their good products, but you can also get FileMaker Pro 4 Windows.
So that concludes our tutorial right here. If you have any questions that I'm able to answer, you can just send it to me in a private message or you can comment. And like I said in the beginning of the video, um, if you'd like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.